So then guys, we've had lots of leaks and rumours for the brand new iMac Pro and I want to discuss everything we know about it. So that's right guys, believe it or not, the larger iMac is still alive and is still in development. And that will be the replacement for one of these that we've got right here. This is still an old Intel iMac and believe it or not, we've not had a larger iMac with any Apple Silicon inside of it. Back in 2021, we did get the brand new 24-inch iMac, and that came with the M1 chip inside of it, and it had a whole brand new design, nice and thin, with some lovely new colours, and then at the end of 2023, with the M3 chip, we also got an upgrade inside of his iMac, but nothing else really had changed. Now, for the 27-inch iMac and also the iMac Pro, some could actually argue that the brand new Mac Studio that came out is actually the direct replacement here. But it actually seems like from the leaks and rumours that I want to share with you today, that the iMac or a larger iMac Pro is still alive and it's going to be coming out. So first things first, Apple have ruled out, as you can see right here, that another 27-inch iMac is not coming. But the wording's very specific here. It actually says a 27-inch iMac. It doesn't say a larger iMac. But we've actually had lots of leaks and rumours come out from the likes of, say, Mark Gurman, Min Chi Kuo, who've actually said that we're actually going to be getting a 30 or a 32-inch iMac, and that this is, is on its way, and Apple are in full development of this. Now, most likely with a display of this new iMac, it will probably be a ProMotion display, so 120 hertz, because at the end of the day, if it is going to be a Pro iMac and it's got that Pro name, just like the MacBook Pros, this also has a 120 hertz display panel. Also, very likely, it'll also be a mini LED display. We're probably not going to get an OLED iMac anytime soon, so the first iMacs are going to have a mini LED inside of them, these larger ones, and that's going to be absolutely amazing to see that. This will be the first time we've had ProMotion in an iMac. But next of all, for the design-wise, we're probably going to be expecting something very similar to the current iMac that we have right now, the 24-inch model, but probably it's going to be slightly thicker. Now, the main reason why it will need to be thicker is because this iMac will probably need to have a beefier fan inside of it to cool down the chips that Apple are planning to put inside of this iMac. And just in case you want to know what kind of chips are probably going to be going inside of this, it's most most likely we're going to be probably seeing the likes of probably the M4 Pro or the M4 Max. Now these renders here obviously do show M3 Pro and M3 Max but at the end of the day we've been told that the M4 journey is going to be coming along much more quicker now so it's more than likely and expected now that we are going to be seeing those chips inside of this iMac instead of the likes of the M3 Pro and the M3 Max. Now, you're probably asking the question as well, what about the Ultra chip? Is that going to be inside of it? And I'm going to probably say this is probably not going to be the case. The likes of the Mac Studio are for that. And as you know, with the Mac Studio, it is nice and thick. And it's got nice big fans to keep that Ultra chip nice and cool. So it's unlikely that this is going to go inside the likes of this iMac. Otherwise, the iMac would have to be really thick on the back to keep it nice and cool. So probably a very similar sort of fan setup to what we have with the 14 and the 16 inch MacBook Pros to keep the current M3 Pro and the M3 Max what will be coming the new M4 Pro and the M4 Max. This is the kind of sort of thing that we'll be getting inside of this new iMac Pro. What's going to be absolutely amazing. Another good reason why Apple might have been waiting till this point is because of Apple Intelligence. As we know, Apple Intelligence got introduced this year in 2024. And you can imagine applying this to a larger iMac would be absolutely fantastic. All of the tools and everything that we got shown at WWDC 2024 with Apple Intelligence, with all those kind of AI abilities, Siri 2.0 as it were, and things like this, this is really, really going to help out with this machine. And obviously, with those chips inside of this larger iMac, it would really, really help and benefit from this. 
So moving on with this new iMac Pro, something else that we're probably going to see are a lot of additional new types of ports compared to what the old Intel one used to have. We're probably going to get a very similar sort of port layout to what we have with the current Mac Studio right now, but probably the only thing that won't be there is probably a HDMI port. So all the ports that you see on a Mac Studio, like I said, minus the HDMI, will be probably put on the back of this iMac. But next of all, you're probably wanting to know when it's going to be release and how much will it actually cost? Well, the good news is looking at these rumors that we've got right here, it's possible that we could be getting this new iMac Pro before the end of next year. It's unlikely if Apple are going to be starting out their M4 journey all over again with the iPads, or if it's not coming with the iPads, the M4 journey is going to start at the end of 2024. So we're probably going to be looking towards 2025 before we're going to get this new iMac Pro. And with that, probably looking at these reports, as you can see right here, it looks like it's going to be probably near the end of 2025 so the second half of 2025 when that's going to be is unknown but for my pure guess of when it would be it'd probably be kind of october time but that's just my pure guess but there again you could be stepping into m5 territory by then we'll just have to wait and see and see more leaks and rumors coming in of when the actual confirmed release date is going to be when the launch of this new imac pro with a mini led display is coming now for price wise probably speaking it's going to be more expensive than what we have with the current Mac Studio at the end of the day the Mac Studio costs $2,000 and this comes with the M2 Max inside of it so probably with this brand new screen inside of it being a mini LED screen as well we're probably going to be looking for more than $3,000 probably I would say probably about $3,200 and that would just be probably with the M4 Pro inside of it with the M4 Max inside of it, you're probably going to be costing probably about another sort of $500, $600 more on top. And this could be coming close to near that $4,000 sort of dollar sort of territory for a brand new iMac right here. But what you've got to remember here is that if you brought yourself, say, a Mac Studio with an M2 Max inside of it, then if you brought yourself a sort of 27 inch LCD, the normal LED kind of Mac Studio display that we have right now, those together cost you more than $3,500 right now, both together. So this is why I'm saying even with just a kind of look at M4 Pro and also in a slimmer design, you can see why I mean it probably might be about $3,200, bigger screen, mini LED, but a less powerful chip inside of it. But really guys, that is everything we know for the new iMac. What are your thoughts on this will you be getting one in the future let me know in the comments below and with that as well guys it's time to wrap up this video so if you have enjoyed watching it please do press the like button also if you want to hear the latest apple news reviews and comparisons please also make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell too until next time guys i'll see you really soon take care bye bye